Hello viewers, welcome to the part 3 of uh, projection of straight lines. Hope you enjoyed the earlier two sessions and understood the concept. So in this session we are going to discuss about how to draw the projections of uh, a straight line which is parallel to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the vertical plane. So let's see how the line will look like. So considering this as a first angle projection the line is parallel to parallel to your horizontal plane and perpendicular to your vertical plane. So let's see how to draw the projections of the line in this given position. So again uh, I am repeating this uh, always start with the view in which you will see the true length of the line. So again uh, here uh, the tip is since the line is parallel to the horizontal plane your top view will give you the true length. So you have to draw the top view first and then project the front view from the top view. Right, so now here you can see uh, the line is parallel to the horizontal plane and the perpendicular to the vertical plane and look at the diagram on your left the actual line which is uh, shown in red color which is denoted by the capital letters A and B. Uh, so the line is uh, at a certain distance above the horizontal plane and the end A is at certain distance in front of the vertical plane. So because the line is parallel to the horizontal plane the your top view will give you the true length so first you have to draw the top view. So when I project it onto the uh, horizontal plane you get the top view as AB small case AB which is blue in color and for the front view now you look at the uh, viewing direction uh, where uh, the arrow uh, so this is the uh, viewing direction so when you look from this direction uh, the end B the end B is near to you or near to the observer and end A is away from the observer so you will be able to see only B and not A and because you are looking perpendicular so the front view will be only a point and not a line and you see uh, how it is right because since B is visible uh, B is visible it's shown here and uh, A dash because end A is invisible that is given in brackets. Now to your right you have the orthographic view of that so you have AB as the vertical line and the front view is a point which is uh, denoted by uh, the notation A dash within brackets and B dash because B is near to the observer which is visible and A is behind or beneath or away from the observer hence it is given in brackets. So a uh, line parallel to HP and perpendicular to BP again here there are four uh, uh, possible positions let's see what are those things. So line is above HP and one end of the line is in front of it. Of course, this is similar to what we saw in the previous slide. And next is line is above HP and one end of the line is on VP or one end of the line is touching the vertical plane. And the third possible position is one end of the line is in front of VP and the line is on the HP or line is lying on the horizontal plane. And the fourth one is line is on HP and one end of the line is touching VP. Of course, we will be dealing it uh, one by one and I will show you the uh, position of those lines. So among the four possible positions as I told, the first one is line is above HP and one end of the line is in front of VP. So now the line is above HP, the line is above HP and one end of the line is in front of VP right so we will see how to draw the projection of this so the problem is a straight line AB of true length uh, 70 millimeters is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP the line is 20 mm above HP and one end of the line is 30 mm in front of vertical plane draw the projections of the line so this is the first position line is above HP and one end of the line is in front of VP. So again uh, 
first what you need to do is what are the given data. So what are given is the true length of the line is given TL and the line is so much above that is here 20 mm above HP and so ABO is 20 and one end of the line is 30 mm in front of VP so that is IFO is 30. So now, look, now let's go and solve the problem. So draw the XY line and as I told you the line is parallel to HP so you have to start with the top view and the top view will be a vertical line right and one end of the line is so much in front of VP that is 30 mm in front of VP so what you have to do is mark a point which is 30 mm below the XY line and then mark the other end of the line at a distance of 70 millimeters and draw this vertical line which is of length 70 millimeters which represents the true length of the line. So this is the top view. Now we have to project the front view. So earlier we saw that the front view is going to be a point. So where will the point lie? So the data given is the line is 20 mm above. So obviously the front view which is a point will be 20 mm above the XY line. So mark a point 20 mm above XY line in line with the top view. So now connect that with the projector. So this is the top view and front view of the given line. So now mark the ends. So, so it is uh, 20 mm above, uh, above HP and the end is 30 in front of VP and the length of the line is 70. So having done this let's name the points. So AB for the top view and this is the viewing direction for your front view and as I told you earlier B is near to the observer so B is visible, A is uh, away from the observer it is invisible so A dash is given in brackets and it's A dash B dash. So this is the projection of the given straight line. So the next uh, possible position, next possible position is the line is above HP and one end is on VP or in other words one end is touching the vertical plane. So the line is above, above the horizontal plane and one end is on VP or touching VP. So now earlier it was in front of a vertical plane and now it is touching the vertical plane. So what will happen because it is touching the vertical plane the top view the line will be touching your reference line. So that is the different earlier it was like this now it will be touching the touching the reference line. So let us see how to draw the projection of this line. So now let us solve this problem a straight line AB of length 70 millimeters is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP the line is 20 mm above HP and one end of the line is on VP or in other words one end of the line is touching the vertical plane. Draw the projections of the line. So this is the kind of position line is above HP and one end is on VP. So now let us solve this. So the given data is true length ABO that is given 20 millimeters and since the one end of the line is touching the vertical plane IFO is 0. right? So draw the XY line. Now what you have to do? You have to start with the top view and where will the top view start from? Because IFO is 0, mark a point on the XY line. right? And then draw a vertical line which represents the top view of the line which is of length 70 millimeters. Now we will uh, draw the front view. We are supposed to project the front view from the top view and front view we know it is going to be a point and that point is 20 millimeters above HP means above XY line. So mark a point 30 millimeters above the XY line. Now join them, join the front and top views by the projector. So next we will dimension it above is 20 and in front of is 0 so you are not showing it there and the length of the line is 70. So having dimension let us mark the points. So I think I need not tell this you are already clear AB for the top view 
and for the front view again B will be visible A will be invisible so A dash in brackets and B dash so this is the projection of the given straight line so now there's a third position one end of the line is in front of VP and the line is on HP line is on H now let's see right one end of the line is in front of VP and the line is on HP. Earlier, the line was above HP, but now the line is on HP and one end of the line is in front of VP. So, if you draw the projection, you will get it like this. Right? So, since the line is on HP, since the line is on HP, the front view of that will be, the front view of the line will be on the XY line and it will be a point. Let's solve a problem so straight line AB of uh, length 70 mm is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP the line is on HP and one end of the line is 30 mm in front of VP draw the projections of the line so this is the position one end of the line is in front of VP and the line is on HP so let's see what are the given data true length now since the line is on HP the ABO is 0 and IFO is 30 so draw the XY line now where will the top view be so where would you start the top view because IFO is 30 mark a point 30 mm below the XY line and draw the top view that's the line of length 70 now we need to project the front view so because the line is on HP the front view will be on the XY line and it will be a point right now join them and let's dimension so IFO is 30 and ABO is 0 so we are not marking anything over there and the length of the line is 70 and now let's mark the points A B and this is for the front view a dash in brackets and b dash now let's come to the fourth position line is on hp and one end of the line is touching the vertical plane. let's see so the line is on hp line is on hp and one end is touching the vertical plane right one end is touching the vertical plane so your top view will be like this so this is a line which touches the XY line right and the front view will be a point that also will be on the XY line so let's see how to solve a given problem a straight line AB of length 70 mm is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP the line is on HP and one end of the line is touching the vertical plane draw the projections of the line so line is on HP and one end of the line is touching the vertical plane so what's the given data what's the given data yes you guessed it right given is true length is 70 and ABO is 0 and IFO is also 0 right so since the line is on HP ABO is 0 and since one end of the line is touching the VP IFO is 0 now let's solve the problem so draw the XY line and of course I have to start with the top view and where will the line start because IFO is 0 so it will start on the XY line and draw a line of length 70 millimeters now uh, we have to draw the front view so where will the front view be of course front view will be a point but where will it be because ABO is 0 it has to be a point on the XY line it is the same point so let's uh, mark the uh, dimensions it's 70 and ABO and IFO is 0 so we are not marking it there so AB is the top view of the line and is the arrow mark for the front view and A dash B dash A dash in brackets B dash is the front view because the same point A is the front view and also the top view because of the given position of the line so this brings us to the end of session 3 thanks for viewing
and I'll meet you in the next session. Thank you once again.